The future of war has changed. It's no longer fought only with tanks, jets, and missiles. Today's battlefield is ruled by algorithms, autonomous drones, and artificial intelligence. Israel, the USA, and Russia are locked in a quiet but dangerous race to dominate AI warfare. What exactly are they building, and how could this reshape the world? Let's break it all down. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most important topics shaping the future of global security, the AI warfare race between Israel, the USA, and Russia. In the past, military power was measured by how many tanks, bombers, or missiles a country had, but today's battlefield is digital, and the real power lies in who can process data faster, predict enemy actions earlier, and make split-second decisions without human input. That's why these three countries are pouring billions of dollars into military AI. Israel is known for its cutting-edge drones and cyber defense systems. The USA has the world's largest military technology infrastructure and is integrating AI into nearly every branch of its armed forces. Russia is building AI systems designed to operate in harsh conditions and disrupt enemy technology. This race is not just about winning wars. It's about rewriting the rules of war itself. If one country gains a clear advantage in AI, it could shift global power, change alliances, and rewrite military strategy. In the coming sections, we're going to explore how each of these countries is approaching this AI arms race, who is leading, and what it means for the future of warfare. Israel may be geographically small, but it is one of the most advanced military tech hubs in the world. The Israel Defense Forces, IDF, have made AI a central part of their operations. They use it for everything from target selection to predicting border activity and identifying threats in real time. Systems like the Harpy Loitering Munition, a suicide drone, that autonomously seeks out and destroys enemy radar are prime examples of Israeli innovation. Israel has also built AI systems that analyze satellite imagery and video feeds, allowing its military to act proactively. One of Israel's greatest strengths is its collaboration between the military and its thriving startup ecosystem. Elite cyber intelligence units, like Unit 8200, produce some of the best cybersecurity experts in the world, many of whom later build companies that develop military AI solutions. This tight feedback loop allows Israel to rapidly innovate and test solutions in real-world conditions. However, this rapid move toward automation raises questions. Are we putting too much decision making power into machines? Critics warn that fully autonomous warfare could escalate conflicts faster than humans can control them. Still, Israel's technological edge gives it a clear advantage in regional conflicts. When it comes to military AI, the United States is the heavyweight champion. The Pentagon has launched several major initiatives to ensure America stays ahead in this technological race. One of the biggest is the Joint Artificial Intelligence Center, JAIC, which works to integrate AI across all military branches. Project Meven is another key program using machine learning to process drone footage and automatically identify objects of interest, dramatically reducing the workload on human analysts. The U.S. is also developing the next generation air dominance GAD platform, which will include AI-assisted fighter jets and autonomous wingmen, drones that fly alongside human pilots. The U.S. military uses AI for logistics, battlefield planning, and even predicting equipment failures before they happen. America's advantage lies in its collaboration with major tech companies like Google, Microsoft, and Palantir, which supply cutting-edge AI tools. But this partnership has sparked ethical debates, with some employees protesting the use of AI in warfare. The U.S. strategy is clear. Maintain AI dominance so that no rival state gains an edge that could threaten global stability. Russia's approach to AI warfare is different and deeply shaped by its doctrine of asymmetric warfare. The idea that you don't have to match an enemy's strength. 
Just find a way to undermine it. Russia has developed systems like the Uran 9 unmanned ground combat vehicle, which uses AI for navigation and target engagement. It is also working on AI guided missiles that can evade modern missile defense systems, maintaining its nuclear deterrence advantage. In electronic warfare, Russia uses AI to jam communications, spoof GPS signals, and disable enemy drones. Russian AI systems are designed to work even if communications with command centers are cut, giving them a degree of battlefield autonomy. Russia's military tech sector is smaller than that of the US, but it benefits from tight state control, which allows for rapid development and deployment. Its secrecy also means NATO often doesn't know exactly what Russia has until it's tested in real conflicts, giving Moscow an element of surprise. Comparing Israel, the USA and Russia is complex because each nation has different strengths. The US leads in funding, global reach, and scale its systems are often the most advanced and widely deployed. Israel leads in innovation and speed, its solutions are precise and tested in live combat situations, making them extremely practical. Russia excels at disruption, building rugged systems meant to jam, disable, or confuse enemy technology. If we rank them, the US likely leads overall. Israel leads in battlefield tested solutions, and Russia leads in electronic warfare capabilities. But the real race isn't about who has the best tech on paper, it's about who can integrate AI fastest into real combat. The country that does this first could gain a decisive military advantage for years to come. This AI race is transforming global strategy. Wars may become shorter but far more intense because decisions that used to take hours are now made in seconds. AI can analyze satellite images, predict enemy troop movements, and recommend responses instantly. That speed can be a huge advantage, but it also makes mistakes more dangerous. A wrong decision made by an algorithm could trigger an escalation before human commanders even realize it. That's why the United Nations and other global bodies are debating how to regulate autonomous weapons. Some experts argue that AI could actually make war less destructive by improving accuracy and reducing civilian casualties, while others warn that fully autonomous weapons could start conflicts without human approval. Another major consequence of the AI arms race is the shift in power dynamics between nations. Smaller countries that acquire advanced AI systems might punch far above their weight in a conflict. This could destabilize regions that were previously balanced by traditional military strength. Cyber warfare is also becoming more dangerous. AI can help hackers find vulnerabilities faster, automate attacks, and even disguise digital intrusions so they're harder to detect. This blurs the line between war and peace because attacks may happen without a single shot being fired. AI is also making psychological warfare more sophisticated with deepfakes and disinformation campaigns designed to mislead entire populations. Economic implications are huge as well. Countries that invest in military AI also create spin-off technologies for the civilian sector, leading to breakthroughs in healthcare, logistics, and communication. But this also means that nations unable to invest in AI will be left behind, both economically and militarily, this growing AI gap could create new global divides, with powerful nations setting the rules of warfare and weaker nations forced to follow. Some analysts worry this could create a new kind of Cold War, not about nuclear missiles this time, but about who controls the smartest machines. Public opinion is also starting to matter more. Citizens around the world are asking questions about how much control machines should have over life and death decisions. Tech companies are under pressure to ensure their AI systems follow ethical guidelines, but in a war, ethics can become blurry. This makes transparency and international agreements even more critical. The challenge is finding a balance, using AI to protect lives without making war easier to start. Looking ahead, the future of AI warfare is both exciting and terrifying. If handled responsibly, 
AI could make wars shorter, reduce mistakes, and save lives. But if left unchecked, it could create autonomous conflicts that spiral out of control. Israel, the USA, and Russia are setting the pace, and what they do in the next decade will define how the rest of the world responds. We are at the dawn of a new era where data is as powerful as gunpowder once was. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update on global security and technology. Drop a comment below, which country do you think will win the AI arms race? Let's talk about it!